now that the tournament calendar has effectively disappeared for the time being, I can return to reviewing some books and there are some great ones that have just come out. And this, I have to say, is so enjoyable. Uh, this is The Complete Chess Swindler by David Smurden, published by New in Chess, newinchess.com. Well, I have to say, this is just so entertaining. Um, the book starts with this really nice anecdote. So this is a game played in Tallinn, 1971, between Furman and Smekal. And here you can see that black is two pawns up and is drifting towards a win. And the game ended like this. A check. That bishop was taken and this pawn threatened queen. The knight came back and now black's king just wandered over towards the knight. White's king has to take care of this pawn and basically the king will be able to win the knight. And here Furman resigned. Well, let's just go back to this position. Well, after the game, Tal wandered by the board and asked Smekol, who won the game, uh, what would you do if white had played knight b3? And Smekol said, well, OK, I push the pawn. Everything's fine. And Tal flicked out this move. And if black makes a queen, then that is a draw by stalemate. You can see that king cannot move. Ah, so Tal was walking away and Smekal said, well, hang on, come back a second. What about making a knight? And Tal returned to the board and promptly played knight b3. And that's a draw as well. A beautiful move, of course. If knight takes knight, it's still a draw. Incidentally, even if black were to, to get a bishop here, well, you could even remove that knight and that's still a draw because you simply can't force the king out of the corner. Well, it's a lovely example to start and a really nice anecdote. And this book is full of great stories, as you can imagine. Somehow behind every swindle is a story and great positions as well. Um, but don't be fooled into thinking this is just about entertainment. In fact, this book is highly instructive. Um, and in many ways, quite a quite a serious book underneath it. There's a serious knowledge behind it. David Smurden is a grandmaster from Australia. Uh, actually, by profession, he's an economist, an academic who teaches uh, and researches at university. And as one might expect from some from from an academic, this is a very well structured book. And it's very didactic as well. So uh, the, the human psychology of swindling is broken down into very clear themes such as uh, hubris, impatience um, and so on. Um, and then there, there's a kind of uh, methods that one can use to exploit these kind of human weaknesses. So in many ways, this is an antidote to computer chess. And there's a very nice example that shows that. Uh, this is one of um, David's favourite swindles um, played by an Australian player, Ikeda, who is apparently renowned for uh, tricky tactics and swindles. So you can see here that, well, <laughs> Black has two pawns on the seventh on one of these is about to queen, possibly both. White has built up an attack on the h-file, but basically um, black is holding firm here because if pawn takes pawn, then simply pawn takes and the queen um, defends h7, black is going to win. So coming back to this position, if you were playing white, can you think of some creative way that you might like to try to bamboozle your opponent? Well, White actually played the extraordinary move, Bishop G7. And this basically short-circuited his opponent. 
Um, in this position, the computer shows there are no less than 47 ways for black to win this position, 47 different moves that actually win for black. But this induced panic and disaster and the game ended like this. And white forced checkmate. Incredible. Uh, if you think that's luck, as I said, this player Ikeda has a reputation for this. Um, as I said, there, there are this book. I think is is highly instructive. For example, there is uh, a section on important endgame theory, showing you um, typical fortress positions, which are actually very, very practical, very, very useful, um, and. David is an assiduous collector of positions. So I have to say that the vast majority of the examples in this book I hadn't seen before, and uh, and they're coming right up to date. For for example, I mean, I was... Um, this one is played in um, 2019. Here, Vietnamese Grandmaster Lei, very, very strong player, over 2,700, playing Peralta. And here, well, you can see this pawn is on the seventh round, but basically Lei has played um, very carefully and, and he's actually very close to victory here. For example, if uh, queen d5, you can actually put white into a, a kind of tzutzang. This, this is typical. Um, let me just show you a typical technique. Basically here, well, white hasn't got a good move here. And this is Tsugtvang. Um, the rook is going to have to move away from the pawn and black takes the pawn with a winning position. Or if king here, then you can play check and here. And that's actually checkmate. Um, so, yeah, basically queen d5 is winning and black has played very well. In the game... Queen's d5 was played. Um, sorry, Peralta played this with, with black. And now Lei uncorked uh, a, a beautiful idea. This is this is like a study. Check, check again, and and this is a draw. If the king tries to escape by moving up the board, then you can see queen is lost and if the king goes back here then rook b8 check and obviously that is a draw by stalemate so absolutely beautiful trick um so yeah it's worth knowing these kind of fairly basic positions as well so um i i cannot recommend this book highly enough um oh i should add that there are uh, at the end, there are over 100 exercises to test your um, creativity and deviousness. Um, it's it's an excellent book. As I said, it's it's highly entertaining. There are great stories, but actually underneath it all, this is a serious study. And actually, I think it fills a real gap in chess literature. I think the, the, the subject of swindles isn't really discussed very much and it deserves to be and it has been done very well in this book so there we go it's called the complete chess swindler by david smurden available from newinchess.com 24.95 us dollars thank you